the stewardess kept uh, intermittently coming to this man and talking rather nervously in their native tongue. And uh, eventually, uh, I, of course, it was obvious what was happening because she was alluding to the man in the first row. He began to get up and proceed towards the cockpit with a gun in hand, which was noticed immediately by the security man, and he immediately jumped up and apprehended him. Uh, in the process of doing so, he twisted the man's wrist, pointing the gun directly to the man, and he obviously shot himself in the process. Now, uh, during this melee, of course, uh, the stewardess uh, naturally was all upset about what happened, ran with her head in hand to uh, the rear of the cabin, and after that, uh, a man uh, ran in shirt sleeves from the rear of the cabin to the front with a gun in hand and proceeded to fire six bullets into the head of the uh, would-be uh, hijacker. Now, of course, the events that followed that, uh, of course, we, everyone seemed to cower in their seats and we practically froze. And uh, at this point, uh, there was a lot of mass confusion. And I think one of the first things that occurred to me as to whether or not there was any damage to the plane per se, because uh, knowing that uh, when you're in a pressurized cabin at that altitude, the possibilities of causing damage are great. Now, possibly uh, this could have happened, but we were, our fears were soon allayed by the captain who told us that the plane was intact and that everything was okay. But of course, there were two dead men aboard. Uh, I saw the man killed in the, uh, in the front compartment and at the same time heard firing in the rear compartment. Uh, of course, uh, when I went back later on, there was another man that was killed. It seems as though Ethiopian Airlines uh, constantly travel with uh, three security guards, one in the first class compartment and two in the rear. And uh, unfortunately, this is the case. There were very few passengers aboard, uh, a total of 11, including those who were involved in the drama, the security men and the would-be hijackers. When they examined their bodies after they were killed, naturally, uh, they found two passports. One uh, was a Senegal passport, the man was from Dakar, and uh, the other one from Yemen. They each had approximately $500 in American money on their person. So uh, beyond that, there was no uh, outburst or uh, any verbal cry at all that would indicate what their cause was or what they uh, seemed to uh, be striving for.